good afternoon, my indigenous brothers and sisters. How y'all doing today? I know it's been a while. It's been a while. But I have been busy working on other projects, working on my, my health and my fitness, also working on my health and fitness channel. Uh, just been doing a lot of things. Um, still traveling. Uh, still here in Maryland, traveling back and forth to Ohio. I've just been doing a lot. Still been doing a lot of research and uh, just paying attention to our world today. Um, and it's a lot, it's a lot going on in this world that we are not, still not talking about. Now, uh, today, uh, before I get into this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Dislike, whatever you like to do. I just need your feedback on the topics and the content that I am talking about. Uh, just to, you know, like I said, I would love everybody's feedback. So, to get into this video, this video today is about our education system and how it was put in place for our black and brown children. And it sets our children up to become factory workers, warehouse workers, uh, fast food workers, and um, prison inmates. That's the bottom line. Uh, the public school system in this entire country was not put in place for your children and for our children to succeed. Okay, that's why they have the private schools. That's why they have the charter schools. You know, public school is just like public assistance. And uh, a lot of people, <laughs> I don't understand why you don't understand why your children can't even read and they're passing them, uh, they're passing from grade to grade and they can't even read. Why Tiffany Haddish couldn't read. Uh, why Fantasia couldn't read. And they went through these public school systems, okay? Uh, how, uh, it's just a setup. It's a setup and we have not only dependent on this public school system to babysit, to teach, to watch our children. And now you see what the public system, the school system has come to. They don't watch anything. It's a job. It's a job to them. Um, they get paid. They don't get paid enough. Because like I said, the school system, especially the public school system, is like the prison system. Why do you think they have uh, metal detectors now? Why do you think they want teachers to carry guns? Ain't that the same thing as the prison guards do? Don't the prison guards have guns or not? Or don't, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's the same thing. Metal detectors. And then the schools that don't have the metal, metal uh, you know, the metal detectors, um, are the ones that's really in trouble. Are the ones where they have open access to all the students. Anybody can come in. As you can see, all the, all the school shootings, somebody just walked right in there. You know, a lot of public schools have uh, the locked door policy. They lock the doors, you have to be buzzed in. Does that not sound like prison? So my thing is, why are we putting all this energy and time into the public school system? You're the parent. Why are you not teaching your kids at home? You, as a parent, should be teaching your, your child history. The public school system should not be teaching your child history. You know what the public school system needs to be teaching? It needs to be teaching the kids how to pay the bills, how to be responsible, how to uh, uh, be uh, financially responsible. And why are they not teaching the kids that? Because they don't want the kids to be financially responsible. They're teaching your child how to become a modern day slave. They're teaching your child to work for minimum wage. They are teaching your child 
that working for someone is better than owning your own business. That's what they're teaching your child. That's what they taught me. When I went to school, they don't teach you how to balance a checkbook. They don't teach you how to pay your bills. They don't teach you how to do certain things on time. They don't teach you that. I mean, I have a son that's 18. I'm teaching him that. So what the hell did he go to school for? They're not teaching my son anything. I'm teaching my son. I'm teaching my son how to pay bills. I'm teaching my son how to get on the phone and, and, and pay a bill. That's certain things that they should be teaching children in school. But they're not. And they're not. I mean, I would really, really, really like to go to the school one day and see what they really are actually teaching them. They're brainwashing them. They're not teaching them anything. Because if that's the case, why our kids are out here not financially responsible, uh, they start out with a, they don't know how to build their credit. Um, most of them don't know how to use an account. They know how to use these debit cards, but they don't know how a bank account really works. Uh, what else? They're not teaching you, uh, they're not teaching you the basics. They're not teaching the basics. Cause I had to figure out like what did I learn going to high school and the only thing I can think about is I, I took a class on marketing education and business in high school and right now I didn't go to college for, for marketing or business but that's what I'm using I'm using what I learned in high school from that one class to build my businesses and it's working. But I'm also doing other research. I'm also uh, just doing the footwork to further, you know, my marketing skills and uh, to further my business. So uh, I just graduated from high school for what? What did it teach me? First of all, they taught me the wrong history. Uh, mathematics, what? We know how to count. I know how to measure what, what's a liter. You know, I know what a gallon of water is. But uh, it's not teaching you that everything's the, the, the simple steps to uh, living a life. It's not teaching you, like I said, there's other options out here besides getting a job. It's not teaching you that you have options. You don't have to come out here and first get a job. You can start a business. If you have that drive and you, if you're a certain type of person, you can start that business at any age you want to. There's kids out here that are six years old starting a business. And that's because they have the parents, their parents there to encourage them and to help them learn how to start that business. If we all knew, if y'all really knew, it's easier to start a business than to fill out an application. Same process. The only thing is you have to pay money to start your business, which is fine. And it's, it's as easy as filling out a job application. And uh, you create your income. You create how much money you wanna make. It's about how much work you put in. So if you're putting in work every day, uh, 15 hour days, seven days a week, guess what? Your paycheck is going to be fat because it's upon you. It's upon you on how much you make. It ain't, it ain't up to anybody else. You don't have a boss, you're the boss. But when you go out here and work for someone, uh, yeah, you have to stress. You have to be there when they want you to be there. You have to work when they want you to work. Overtime? Psh, you know how many jobs are not really offering overtime? 
And then you have to get paid what they pay you. And guess what? You can't be mad at the employer if your check is late. You can't be mad. Why, why are you mad? You should be mad at yourself for putting your, your, uh, your livelihood and your life into someone else's hands. Your bills don't get paid until you get that check from your boss. But guess what? When you're a business owner, if your bills don't get paid, that's on you. That's on you. And um, I've stopped. I have not worked a regular job. And uh, whew, been, it's been five years. It's been five years. And one thing I do, I refuse to go back and work for somebody else. And if I do, if I do, get a little part-time job or whatever, guess what that's for? It's for me to stack and save money to put towards another business. Because one thing you don't do is you don't take money from another business to start another business. You let that money accumulate and take care of that business. And you go ahead and put in the income to start another one. So, uh, like I said, our education system sucks. And the thing about it is, <laughs> y'all think that the, the private schools and the charter schools are better? Mm -mm. No. You go to private school for class. You go, because this is a class society. It's what class you're in. And when you go to public school, you are the lower you are low, low class. You're at the bottom. You're poor, poor broke. That's what they look at you when they say, public school. Why do you think when you see all these shows and you talk to all these people, public schools, they turn their nose up at public school because that's the lowest of the low. Charter school, hmm. That's like low, middle, not really, no. But private school, oh, private schools. It's all about class. And guess what they don't, they don't teach, <laughs> they don't teach about credit in private school either. Because if that's the case, a lot of these kids that go to private schools and go to these top notch colleges would still not be in debt and would not be broke. I mean, I'm just wondering why there's a lot of college students that are still sleeping out of their cars and still struggling. Or why the white privileged teen or college student still has to go and sell drugs to make money. Hmm? Now we go sell drugs to make money. Oh man, criminals. I wouldn't have to do that. But on the other end, the white kids are doing the same thing. So sad. It's so sad. That's something like the education system, period, sucks. Sucks. And <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm going to call it what it is. The black folk that go to these white institutions of learning is because they want in, they want to be of that class, but just know, just know that no matter what level of education that you are at, if you got an MBA, if you got whatever, just know that they will never ever respect you because of this, never ever. I don't care. They still don't respect Jay-Z. He's still a nigga. But guess what? When you own your own business, can't nobody tell you that. They can't come in and tell you what you do or what you're going to do. You create that. And the thing about it is, when you have a business, people come after you. They seek you. 
they will kiss your ass, lick your boots just to get your business. One thing they're not going to be able to do is use you. They're not going to be able to use you and pay you low and, and get over on you. Because when a person when a person comes to you, your business, that means you have the upper hand. You have the upper hand. You can charge them whatever you want to charge them, whatever. You got the upper hand. You got the say-so. You have the power. It's all about power. Did you not know that? It's all about power. And our people have so much power that they don't even know that they possess. We are. Even broke, we are the richest. We are the richest and the wealthiest people in the world. And the only people that don't know that is us. White people know this. Why do you think we're their busy? Their, we, why do you think they're, we are their biggest consumers? They don't go and sell to other white people. They'll do business with other white folks. But as far as selling, advertising, they advertise to us because we have the money and we have the power and we don't even know it. All this money, you know, he's spending on your weaves. All this money we spend on clothes, on shoes, and everything. For somebody who's broke, you have basically, in a year's time, put 10000 in somebody else's pockets. But you're claiming you're broke every day. And you spend the same amount of money on the same exact thing every fucking month. There's no way that you're broke. But in the, in the mind, it's a broke mentality. Yeah, you live in the hood. Yeah, you sure do. But why do you think those foreign motherfuckers open their stores in the hood? Because that's where all the money is. They don't come in, open up shop, see how dangerous it is, and then pack up and leave. There's a reason why they stay there. And next time, next time, you black. Y'all don't like talking to these motherfuckers, but y'all like buying from them. Next time, go in there and ask them, why do they stay in these neighborhoods if they think it's so dangerous and if, and you know what I'm saying, if they think people of our color, you know what I'm saying, are the lowest of the low, you know, the scum. Why do they stay there? Just ask them that and see what they say. Open your damn eyes and look. The shit outside is crazy. And you blind. Because you sitting there accepting somebody saying you broke because of where you live, because of what you do, and how you spend your money. And you letting the education system raise your children, teach your children. And I know, y'all know, the education system is bogus. Bogus. It sucks. And it, it was never for us. It's always been against us. To, to, to keep creating the modern day slave. Ain't got nothing to do with college. Ain't got nothing to do with that. So, stop putting so much emphasis on this education system. Stop complaining because there's nothing going to happen. They're going to keep closing schools and our kids are going to be dumber and dumber. Teach your children at home. Teach them at home. So, that concludes this video. Peace.
and have a blessed day.